Hey guys, John Luxley here, back with our blind playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Just start my timer real fast here. Alright. Restarting right here. That's good, we have about 4,000 souls. What I do want to do is... Um... Yeah, let's throw some of these extra weapons and stuff in here. I'm not... Uh... That's kind of a... It's got frost, so we'll... Uh, we'll hold on to this just in case of... You know, find something weak against dark. Great club. I'm gonna hold on to the regular spear just because I want to remind myself of where I came from. And that should be good. Kind of clear up the, the inventory a little bit. We'll hold on to all this stuff. Just because, honest, honestly, I'm not sure how much it worked in that last, uh, in the last battle, but you never know. Well, let's check out the Crystal Sage. I saw another exit from there as we were, um, as we, uh, were fighting him. So I wanted to make sure that... <sighs> Let's go take out this guy. Because he could come in and make things difficult. I don't anticipate him doing so, but... Oh, is he coming? Or... check out the arena just a little bit. It's interesting how you can always, well, at least in this game, they kind of tell, like, they don't put the fog walls up there first off, and that's interesting. Um, but you kind of just by, I mean, you can see, you can just tell, like, before I got in there, I'm like, okay, this is probably a boss area, but it's weird because it doesn't feel like one. Oh, it's a hole. All uh, right. Good joke. I guess that's a joke. Fine work. Bonfire. Yep. You are correct. Deep. Oh, is this the way, uh, the way forward? See, I'm kind of curious, like, is this the, uh... How to put it is... Oh, that's something. Okay. <clears throat> I hear another crystal lizard, and I think that is it right there. How does one get over there? We're gonna walk very slowly. And... Wait. Was there two? Lots of, uh, lots of blood stains. And what is that? And I hear something also. Oh no. Okay, he's turning around. So I think I'm going to go for this Crystal Lizard. And then we'll figure out what to do. Oh, it sees me. Alright, plunging attack for the win. Twinkling Titanite. Now... I 
Apparently that's how you're supposed to get it. And another Twinkling Titanite. I like how it gives it to you without you having to... <clears throat> without you having to do it. Oh, that's not the right... Uh... Reinforces weapons steeped in strength to plus four. What does that mean? Uh, Twinkling Titanite for weapon reinforcement. Reinforce weapons steeped in strength to plus four. These unique weapons cannot be reinforced with ordinary Titanite, nor can they be infused. Unless one uses this Twinkling Titanite, which reinforces these weapons without unraveling their inherent strength. I uh, assume it's maybe use this Titanite scale, and then after that is Twinkling Titanite, perhaps. Okay. <clears throat> Be wary of liar. Uh, the blood stain? Well, I don't see anything down there, but... Or... Try back. You certainly could, but there's a dude over there also. That's not a good, um, it's not a good outcome no matter what. So we're going to slowly walk back this way. <clears throat> oh, my foot, my feet even make, um, like little clouds of dust as I step. That's cool. Okay, I figure this is probably going to take us up to where that dude is. Unless he's above us. Oh, wow. Wow. Huh. Well. Yeah. If I attack this dude, are all three going to come at me? Um, yes. The answer is yes. Oh, sh- Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, that's- Okay, that's- Yeah, that's no good. That's, yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. Okay, that's bad. Uh, am I dead? Am I dead? No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, I'm being too risky. Well, at least you're poisoned now. That's something. Okay, so I think I got some health right there. And this... Okay. Whoa! Alright, my hands are sweating now. Okay, all right, it's a little bit more manageable now. And I got some Estus back, that makes me feel good. Let's grab this thing, whatever it is. Oh, well, that's my body, I guess. Herald stuff. Okay. You know, I kind of want him to run into the fire, but I figure maybe he won't. Also, I was pretty lucky. Pretty lucky in general about um, all of that. Falling onto the right areas and stuff, I really thought I was going to die. 
stabbing in the back required a head. I... Man, I don't even know. I thought it went okay how I did it. Wow. Yeah, that was... That was intense. Could this be a message? I don't know. It's a little bit, um... No dragon ahead. Okay, thank you. Well, or you're a liar. Nice and easy. Want to hear things? Oh. Okay. I don't mind. You know, the more I play this game, the more I feel like it follows the... Um, so I think it was Halo. Uh, Halo did something... Oh, oh, I'm in the Cathedral of the Deep. Okay. Let's see. How many souls do I have? Not enough. Um, so what happened to the Undead Legion? Was that... Uh, so I guess the question is, was the Crystal Sage that I fought... Because it said something about one of them joined the, the Undead Legion. But no, that must have been something different. Um, yeah, I'm going to try. There's still two other pathways. There's the way through the gate. And then there's that little side off there, which is where I'm going to check. Um, no, it, it's reminding me more of like the, the Halo developers. Something they said was, it's important to have... I believe it was 30 seconds of action. No, so you fight. You fight for a little bit and then uh and then get some downtime and that kind of helps. Ironically, those little breaks punctuate the um they make it feel more intense overall. Because you have this constant thing of um, of highs and lows, whereas if it was just going constantly, it would it would not feel quite as impactful. I think it's a psychology thing, but um, you know they've clearly studied it more than I have. You know, what, let's head back up this way. We'll we'll drop down. I'll I'll. Take on those guys maybe in a bit. Something else I was thinking about was um, kind of how I was complaining about uh, the controls for the last couple episodes and a little bit before that, I think. Um, and I was thinking about it because I saw a... Um, Mm, excuse me. One of those, uh, this is how you don't play. Oh, that was weird. I guess there was... They were all kind of bunched up and looked like... Um, but it just, you know, it just reminded me. Should I go over and fight those guys first or go for the cross guy <clears throat> but just how much he complains about all the controls and stuff and and I'm, I'm really hoping that I don't come across that way This guy's really... Yep, he's not, you know... He's not in the healthiest of mental places. 
But no, the the whole, uh, you know, DSP thing, like, I don't want to come across like that. Even though I have, you know, some respect for the man because of, of all the stuff that he does. And uh, the fact that he's a survivor, I mean, clearly... Clearly, he somehow has this uncanny ability to survive stuff. Um, I mean, he's also generally regarded as kind of a terrible video game player. And he whines a lot. And that's not something that I want to be in the same boat. You know, so I was kind of thinking about, um, I mean, I, you know, I would hope that I'm not. I, uh, I definitely try and justify my positions, or at least I believe that I do. If I'm wrong, I mean, obviously say something, or, you know, I don't, um, oh, crap, he sees me. I don't, uh... Ah, well, that was a good hit. Ow! I'm curious what that attack does. I don't want to find out, mind you, but I'm curious. This is... that might have been bad. Okay. And somehow... It, oh, oh, oh. Lost the lock-on again there. Oh, that felt intense. Yeah, the, um... What was that? Gain some more souls there, but I don't know from what. Where's the big crab? Okay. No, I mean, I don't block my, uh, you know, people that criticize me and stuff. If you think I'm doing something wrong or, or whining or complaining too much, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think overall I do try and justify my complaints. Or I would, that was weird. What is going on with this? Oh! Is that a Black Knight? Uh, yeah, that doesn't help. That looks like a Black Knight. And <laughs> a crystal lizard. Wow. Ranged battle required ahead. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I mean, you'd have to fight it in that little area otherwise. Can I open this? It does not open from this side. Okay. Maybe you can fall from above or something. I don't know. It's also facing a different way, which seems to imply that you come from a different spot. Bug ahead. I mean, like, one of those lizards or bug it. Oh, wait, maybe I meant like we're coming. Whatever. Anyway. You can hear it breathing. Backing away from probably the night, I would imagine. What is that? Is that something else? Um, I can't tell. Okay, it could be another enemy. Let's just kind of keep that in mind. Skill required ahead. Yes, understood. Oh, it's not attacking me yet.
Oh, it's a pot. Okay. Man, I don't like that breathing sound. Yeah, I mean, sure, you could run down behind it. Cell sword helm. Was that one of the, uh, was that one of the starting classes? I don't remember. Yeah, I never looked at the Herald stuff either. I mean, you know, for obvious reasons. I think we looked at it first. Oh, did we check this one out? A metal shield fashioned in the form of a falcon with wings outstretched. The golden falcon was the emblem of an ancient band of cell swords, and even to this day, many mercenaries remain who look upon it as a token of good fortune. Well, I picked it off a dead body, so probably not that good. Metal helm interwoven with coarse cloth, able to endure the hardships of battle and prolonged travel. It is light considering the build, striking a fine balance between absorption and substance. Uh, metal armor and... Frequent shield users lighten a load by wearing a gauntlet only on one arm. Huh. These cloth trousers and leather boots are are, uh, are of no real note, but are durable and allow for easy movement, able to endure the hardships of battle and prolonged travel. Yep, that makes sense. Now, I mean, I assume if I fall down here, he will uh, notice. And I appreciate that there's no other enemies, or at least none that I can tell in the immediate area. Let's try. Okay, we're going to go for this treasure first. Sellsword Twin Blades. Check those out real fast and then we'll fight the Black Knight. Paired scimitars used by certain sellswords. The scimitars or scimitar, however you prefer to pronounce it. Sharp blades make for effective slashing attacks, but fare poorly against metal armor and tough scaled hides. Scale covered hides, like the crystal lizards, perhaps. With a scimitar in each hand, the wielder can vary their onslaught with unique left handed attacks when in proper stance. Spin slash. Slice into foes with large spinning motion and continue spinning to transition into a strong attack. That's kind of cool. Just drinking some coffee real fast. All right, I guess we'll challenge the Black Knight. I mean, it's definitely a Black Knight, right? Not like a... Not a silver one, but who knows? Ah, uh, maybe it is silver. Hello, friend. Oh! That I was not expecting. Good work. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. That's about right, though. That's about right. Honestly, I didn't expect uh, to have... Well, I mean... You know. I expected it would be easier than that. To be a little blunt. But, um... You know, apparently not. Also, that guy takes, like, starts getting poisoned after two hits, and this guy takes more than that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the whole control thing. It's it's mostly fine. I mean, there are there are problems with it, but um, my uh, I guess my big gripe is that yep. is that it's. 
Hmm. Ow! Well, good hit there, guy. I suppose my big gripe with the controls is that it feels halfway between... It feels like there's still a little bit of that input lag from DS1. Okay, yeah, that was... Ouch, ouch, ouch. Like, DS1 had that whole input lag thing where... You know, you'd hold up your shield, and it would uh, kind of chain your commands. Although I think it was dependent on frame rate also, because I noticed it mostly in Blight Town. So, yeah, I don't know. You gotta be careful with that. With that going forward after. But yeah, I have noticed a little bit of the input lag on, on this game as well, which, eh, it's, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's ultimately the player's responsibility, but it can still screw you over at times, so... I don't know, I'll just have to be more careful, I suppose. Okay, that was supposed to be a roll. Mmm, ouch. Whoa. Come on! No backstab. Not in that case. Ooh, I really thought I was going to get hit there. Ouch. Like that. Right in the face, too. Jesus. Yeah, so I know I switched to the, the talisman, but I was hoping to... Um, well, I didn't think he'd attack quite so quickly. I thought I'd have a little bit more lead-up time. So the plan, which didn't work, was to roll past him well, and then heal while he was doing his little combo. Um... You know, it uh, it worked in a fashion, but uh, not the way, <laughs> not the way I wanted so much. Okay, that was you know.
yeah, definitely not the way that I wanted it to go, but it went that way. Stupid beetle. I gotta say, I'm really glad I have that other ring on. The uh, Morn's Ring or whatever it's called, where every 10 or 15 hits, I'm not sure, it, it seems to heal you for a little bit. That's... Oh, that was... Oh, that was almost a mistake. drop something. I don't know what he drops. Probably Titanite, but you know. Oh. I got both of them. I will take that. Giant crab seems to be staying still, which is helpful. Ooh, I thought I might have got... Well, I mean, I, I did get hit there, but... You know, this guy looks like the... Oh, I gotta use some Estes, man. Guy looks like the clams, kind of. Wow, that sucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was different. A running attack. I mean, a running fight or whatever. Oh, did I get some Estus from that one? I did. That's awesome. That makes me happy. I wonder how often that happens. Let's just top off a little bit before we have to fight the Black Knight again. Although I guess I could use... I could just heal. Eh, we'll do that. I don't want to get too close to Granddaddy Crab. But yeah, I'm curious. How many of you guys, like, you know, are playing these games and then you're just like, man, Darkside Phil does this too. Or whatever, you know? Like... Souls! I got them back. Yeah, he's got some kind of... Like, he has different winds-ups... ...for his attacks. Oh! Nice. I don't mind that. I mean... That was a silly mistake to do. I need Estes. Almost, maybe. Oh, that staggered him. Right on. You get nothing. Nothing. Well, all right. Be wary of ambush. That is um, entirely possible, I suppose. I'm going to listen, though. I hear something else. Hmm. 
And the fact there's a torch up on that wall makes me think there might be some kind of enemy up there. Hidden path ahead. Well, we'll grab the item first, I suppose. Fair and coal? Could this be a door? Um, I'm gonna say, I mean, it is a door, but it's probably blocked. Just gonna say. So let's try clicking. We'll assume, okay, clicking on it seems to do nothing. something through the crack. Maybe it... Uh, see, it's weird, because I feel like it must be. But I don't know... So I've tried clicking and I've tried attacking, and that's... all that I know. I mean... You know, DS1, it was... it was an attack. DS2... Did they have both? Maybe it only opens from one side, I don't know. Um... Oh, that's cool. Oh, but that's probably that, uh... That highway, that crumbled highway or whatever that we came from. It's weird, right? I hear the breathing. Well, all that's left for now is that one, uh, that gate in the middle. Where'd the crab go? There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. If, if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know as far as those, uh, it's not bloodstain, that's just leaves. Um, if I'm doing something wrong as far as the, uh, Opening hidden doors, let me know. Oh crap. I saw the crab move. Wow, it is super sensitive either to... Man. Crab is super sensitive to noise in general or to its babies getting killed. And to get to that gate, I have to go past the other one, I think, right? Is it coming? It's coming. Son of a bitch. I don't want to fight it right now. I choose... I choose escape. What I'm going to do is, uh, we'll get another level real fast and then we'll transport to that sort of mid bonfire. In the crucifixion woods and then, uh, and then make a dash, make a dash for the gate. Also that, oh right, I never looked at the ember. Or, uh, the coal, whatever it's called. Enable heavy, sharp, and poison infusion. Coal used for weapon infusion. Long ago, used to forge the great swords of the undead legion of Farron. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for heavy, sharp, and poison infusion. It's a plan. Let's go give it to him first. Ah, well 
not as good as what needs. Uh, give coal. Oh, my. This coal is from the Undead Legion. Used to forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Praise the gods, eh? Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> Oh, and that's above is the weapons that he can infuse, I suppose. Or uh, the types. Heavy, sharp, refined, raw, fire, poison. So that's, uh, right, it means Farron can use poison stuff. Kind of looking at the stats. Oh, it changes the guard absorption. Kind of. There are two ways to sim simple reinforce reinforcement is straightforward. Infusion is a more reinforcement. Requ bring the stone. It's my purpose in battle. Your whip. Yeah. Pretty be careful. I don't. <laughs> right. Okay. So this guy. Oh, he's back. Oh, hello. You've come at a good time. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. You can keep the ring as... well... <laughs> Sorry, guy. Well, we'll take a look at... Okay, so now you have more embers, apparently. You have a divine blessing. Some other stuff. Rope, firebomb, lightning urn. These are probably handy. A better talisman. Or, or uh, maybe a better talisman. I have no idea. What does it say? The faith of the supplicant affects the strength. Yeah. Skill. Gentle prayer. Recovers HP for a period of time. It's 4,000 hit point. Or uh, 4,000 souls. That might be useful. Um goodbye and stay safe. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> well Yeah, I mean Okay, there's the other pyromancer guy. I mean, I suppose I could give him the, the tome. Let's do that. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I'm your tutor a little longer. <laughs> See if he's... Well, learn pyromancies. Okay, there's others now. Some of these look fun. Temporarily boosts all resistances. Interesting. Oh, wait. Flash sweat or profuse sweat. Huh. Also, it's yellow. You're sweating yellow. That's not good. Let's try talking to him. If you seek pyromancy tomes, take this sage advice. The lands of the lords converge upon Luthric. The home of pyromancy's drifts comparatively close as well. At least, that is what pyromancers of the Great Swamp believe. The place is called Isolith. Oh, how I wish to behold a primal pyromancy. Well, these are old tales. No one knows where the truth begins or ends. <laughs> I wondered about if that. If you seek pyro the lands of the home, at least the place. Well, <laughs> so the home. Not be gone for long. What is it? 
the home would be Izalith. That makes sense. I mean, that's what we saw in uh, DS1. Okay, so now... Welcome home, speak. Level up. Uh, vigor, get more life. More stamina. Dexterity, intelligence, faith, luck. I mean, obviously I'd like more item discovery, but, um... Uh, I don't know. What about... Oh, vitality is equip load. Let's take more life. I don't know... I don't know what else to do for the time being. Let's talk to this guy again. Maybe he's got more insights. Gaining admission to the inside right. they keep. Even I <laughs> Right. Wolf blood. And that one I don't know, that person that looked like a cleric, she's gone. I don't know where she's at. Maybe she was like, oh, you're not smart enough for, uh, for miracles. Took off. I mean, I doubt she was the one that got captured by that dude. Okay, so, question. Should I just run for the gate? Should I ignore the crab? And just run in there? Let's try it. Yep, Crab is not happy. But maybe he'll leave me alone once I get uh, a little bit farther in here. Maybe not. All right. Bonfire ahead, yeah, okay. I mean, maybe, unless they were talking about that. Okay. Well, no, I mean, this door is clearly busted. Is the Black Knight or Silver Knight? Which is it? I mean, it's not... I guess it's silver. It could... I mean, you know, the guy... His armor's not all scorched. Wow, this looks deep also. Oh, those are skeletons, I think. What am I hearing? Okay. You know, let's hit the bonfire because as soon as I step out there, I'm probably going to get killed. Where is this? Farron Keep. Okay. So the... Road of Sacrifices or whatever splits between the Keep, or the Undead Legion, I suppose, and the Time for Poison. Yep. The Keep and the, uh, the Deep thing. Yeah, is this the, even the ground looks, that's what's making the sound, I suppose. Extinguish three flames, open the door to wolf's blood. Yep, that's what the, the guy was saying. What are those things? Yep, and there's the... Uh... They look like earwigs or something. I mean, they're slugs, but...
Interesting, unless they raise up, they don't do... Can't do a whole lot of damage. And then there's gross egg sacs hanging from the... From the top there. It's that area over there. Alright, well let me, um... I'm gonna explore just a little bit first. Oh, oh, well. Ouch. This is a poison spear, so it probably won't do super great. Ragged mask. Some of these are really good as far as, you know, poison resistance stuff. Rag that covers the wearer's mouth, likely a makeshift item that help reduce intake of various poisonous and noxious fumes. Are we going to have an area that just, like, the air is poisonous? Not sure if that would be good or bad. We talked about extinguishing the fires. Not quite sure how to do that. Okay, well... that bar go down. Look at this. That's ugly. I mean, I don't think it's talk about these bonfires, but maybe. All right, let's run to the item. Tight nice shard, I'll take it. Well, I haven't gotten poisoned yet. That'll be a fun little thing. You know what? We have a bonfire right here. Let's figure this out. Poisoned. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, that's definitely not like Dark Souls 2... Poison. This is more like DS1. DS1 style poison. So that's 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 manageable. That's definitely doable. Purple moss clump. Okay, that's handy. Let's just kind of run around just a little bit real fast. Oh, and it slows your slows your movements. Iron flesh. Okay, so that's a pyromancy. Where is there a... Was it wood grain ring or rusted iron ring or one of those when you need it? One of those slugs over there. see what's over here real fast. Ironically, it seems like fat rolling 
is uh, a little bit faster. I'm also half waiting for an enemy just to... There's something over there. There is something or several somethings. Oh crap, I know what those are. Oh jeez, that made me jump. That made me jump. Oh yeah, there's curse. There's curse. Stab you right in your eye. Curse takes a while to go down, too. Okay. Wow. And I assume sitting at a bonfire removes that as well? Yes. I mean, I, I suppose. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like this area. I mean, you know, it's, it's like a... You know, I figured there might be a, a Blight Town style thing. Um, and no one likes it, but it's memorable and it's a challenge, so it's it's fine. I'm not I'm not gonna say no. They shouldn't have had it. In fact, they definitely should have. But uh, when do I unhollow? I mean, how does that work? I don't know. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's memorable. Oh, crap, I didn't read the uh, Iron Flesh thing. That's fine, I'll remember that for next, or try and remember for next time. Um, so that's it for today, guys. That's it for today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm really having a lot of fun, and, and thank you so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Any, uh, any thoughts you have? If I'm doing that hidden doorway wrong, you know, that might be something I'm actually going to look up because I want to... I feel like they need to be a little more clear on the mechanics. Um, but that's... You know, they're not always good about conveying the appropriate information. There's, there's some stuff that I'll probably... If I remember, I'll talk about it. As far as like, you know, DS1, DS2, that sort of thing, but, but, um, you know, they're allowed to have some secrets, I suppose, but at the same time, the, the game is collaborative and we're supposed to be able to, I mean, they, they do that intentionally so that we can talk to each other and, and help each other out. But, uh, so what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? So mine is actually, I mean, it's, it's. It seems to either be food-related or cat-related. This time it's cat-related. I think I mentioned they got these little uh, pizza... stuffed pizza... toys... that are full of catnip. Um, and they lost... They lost one of them, like, immediately. And then I think they just found it again, so that's... That's my positive for today, is... I believe we have two again, of course. I could be wrong. But hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.